With the halfway even strength, I'm really curious to see how this will go out. Maybe with a bang. I'm almost tempted to give a little bit in here, but I don't need piety. Really still don't know what to do with piety. You know what? We're going to raise our troops already. So they can gather their strength and morale. Because it starts anyway soon. So let's get everyone together. Even these guys don't have boats. That should be everyone from the islands. Now... There's the 12,000 army. Let's get everyone... from here. Out there. And we shall raise our own troops for once. 10,000. I'm not going to raise them all. As is tradition, we need to leave some people behind to protect our homeland. Let's see how this jumps up. And we'll definitely send our retinue, or rather keep our retinue. Did I just click? Not a bad one. I accidentally pressed the button for boarding again. Which doesn't do anything once everyone is already boarded. These guys go straight onto the ships. Because war is upon us. Yeah. I would love to give you a reward, but we can't. Deus Bolt indeed. The crusade for Italy begins. So... Does he have any holdings in Italy? What exactly are we targeting? Are we just fighting? Because I might go for the heartland. my troops. Honestly, these can join my retinues here. So can they. So we have a good 3,000 standing at home. Ready to fight. I don't see anything orange, which is generally a good sign for something. But we're going to siege in Italy. Or what belongs to Italy. Because I believe it's about pieces of Italy. So that's where we're gonna go. Like this area over here might just be it. And again, the kingdom is infirm. Christian hands. Irish Christian hands. To be exact. 
can afford it. And as our troops die, it will be cheaper. Everyone is moving out. Our home defense force. All right. Let's see where we can put them down. Where it's sensible. We have 20. <laughs> we have a bit too many to land them anywhere without suffering pretty much huge attrition. So we'll swap these two ships. Let's set these down. Oh. Yeah? No. Fly limits are super low everywhere. We'll just go from this side here. Okay, let's set these down out here. Split them up once they land. Just so we got a bunch of people not needing any sort of... Split in half. And... Send them... There's literally nowhere sensible to put them there. Send them there. And this army can go... Yeah. We'll set them down there and send them over there. It's not ideal, mind you, but when is it ever? We'll just build a wall of Christian soldiers. What? Ah, uh, there's a lot of negativity going on here. Let's set our troops back home and have them not attrition against the harsh, harsh conditions out here. Oh, there's a Muslim army. Let's go take care of that one. We ourselves shall lead. Uh, there's another army. Let's split this too. Right, who's going to... Okay. We're going into this battle the worst way possible. Let's send this army to reinforce. Ah, he has turned! My knights have captured the target of the crusade. Piemonte. Alright, have they? All right, we are, we'll suffer some negative effects here, but we'll make up for it by putting our troops together. And watch the center crumble. Actually, all their flanks are breaking like crazy, like chaff before the wind. Right, they're still gathering, but they're coming north now. Slowly but surely. We shall send our troops here. Be in a good position to reinforce wherever needed. And actually go siege this. Let's go siege this. Peasant revolt in Italy. Unfortunate for Italy. 
I'm just trying to keep an eye on attrition. My knights have captured the target of the crusade, Monterato. Okay, cool. Well done. I think it is down here. Alright, okay. They're coming north now. We will have to move our troops south quick. Once those sieges are done. Turn on the speed a bit. We're in a good position here. But we will still go reinforce. Not send all our troops. Not just yet. Yeah, let's go send all our troops. <laughs> There's going to be a death blob attacking. Oh, what? Oh, yes, hello. Thank you very much. The second Catholic crusade for Italy has ended. Pope Johannes the... What is this? Ninth? Has won. Victorious Crusaders. God has granted Emperor Edekan of Alba victory in the crusade for Italy. Budge Rask of Hispania has been beaten at every turn through the war. Praise God. Right. Stand down our troops instantly. This is now our main priority. And this was the pieces that it was about. Alright. Okay. Saintly finger. All right, uh, so we have a bunch of titles down here, probably. That we don't want. Have a look. Oh. Not that much, actually. We're going to lose the Duchy of Milan on succession. Which is fine, we don't want it anyway. And the County of Milano. Which is also fine, because we don't want it anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to check our lineage... Uh, let's see our court. Anyone of our blood? Did I not have a filter for this somewhere? Yes, there we go. Oh, a crusader. Do you have children? Yes, you do. Congratulations. You will get the county of Milano. Oops, nope. Always make sure you don't click the wrong thing. The county of Milano is what you get. And I will give you the Duchy of Milan as well on top of it. So there we go. Now we're a little bit over the vassal limit. Which is fine. Because we're going to go ahead and transfer a little bit to this guy. He'll have a few more vassals himself. Refine. No. Once I... Can I give you some vassals? Nope. Hmm. These are all my direct vassals. We have too many vassals. We need to take care of that somehow. I mean, at this point, it's not too bad yet. We'll just have to conquer Italy. Just what we gotta do. I risk losing vassals if my character dies. Well, I'd rather not risk that but the offensive pact is gone okay we have converted the province which we were working on now let's stand down those levy units up there the brave 900 defending the country 
And you, my friend, shall be in a little bit of trouble now. Because I'm coming for what's mine. I am so coming for what's mine. I've never had the Holy Roman Empire. I've never formed it, I've never held it, I don't think. So there's new new things ahead. Um, if we manage it all. So claim Italy. He has like what, 13,000 troops? That's fine, we can deal with that. Does not have any sort of ally. So, these don't really have any troops right now to spare. What we're going to do is going to raise our troops here. And our French troops here. Not as many as I hoped for. And let's have some ships here. Put these on there. And our retinue is going to go there. So I raised... Raised these guys. Not a lot. That's fine. And raise you guys as well. And he is likely to attack us directly down here. All right. Our kinsman has died. We have inherited Austrasia. Fine by us. Viceroy of France, yeah. You can be upset with me all you want. There we go. Grant Vice Royalty. And actually, we don't have to give him the Vice Royalty because he is of our dynasty. So he can have the actual kingdom. We don't want this back. So he can have the Kingdom of Crusader Italy. Nah. He can have the Kingdom of Austrasia as his full title. And we have someone of our lineage down here. Look like it. Do we own something here, weirdly? So he shall gain the vice royalty of Aquitaine on top of it. We get rid of all those pesky vessels. And we transfer some vassalage as well. We can have Upper Brittany. You can have Vada. Up, up, up. You can have. Bedford, Dorset, Essex, nah, these go to British kings if I can manage, transfer vassalage, hey there we go, this guy goes over to you, mm -mm. And this guy goes over to you. And this guy goes over to you. And this guy goes. No, no, those are mine. Those I keep. You are mine. Glitter, <laughs> Bishop Glitter, yeah. Rand. Okay. Give our kinsman a vice royalty for the Crusader Kingdom of Italy. Which takes away a few vassals again. Are we missing anyone? 
This guy is our direct vassal, which we don't want. Why are you a direct vassal, man? Why can't I transfer you? Wee bit annoying. I think I need to get rid of a county. Honestly. Because this gives me two vassals. Oh, it's not many. Ugh. Need to take care of these somehow. Don't we have a kingdom up here somewhere? The kingdom of Alba? Let's give that away. We have a kinsman up here? Yes, we do. We'd like to keep it in the family. It's just all we want to do. So you can actually have the full thing. Including the lower titles. And we will transfer vassalage as well. We can have... Why can't I give you this guy? Right, okay. 23 of 21. Once we have Italy, we will incorporate these into Italy, so... Should be fine. Hope. Okay. So our first army has landed. Let's get them down to the hills of Genoa. Uh, there was a strong vassal somewhere. Viceroy of France. Good diplomat. Not good enough. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. Um, have our king of Alba. Piece of our council. We can go ahead and collect tax with his absolutely lacking skill. I have a feeling he's going to send his troops right over to my place. I can't see his ships. Oh, yeah. There I can see his ships. Two galleys. And that fleet. Doesn't really shock me now. We'll go straight for capital. Our reinforcements are arriving soon. Just need to keep an eye on our shores. So he doesn't surprise us out there. I'm not too worried about what might be happening here. So we'll keep these in reserve over there. And the other army that's coming up. Anna. These go siege as well, and the other are going to be reserve. To reinforce wherever it's needed. And we're going to raise our own troops as it is. To just stand guard. In case he shows up. We have some commander for these. Of course there's commander seats open. There's always commander seats open. Our home defense front should have some people in charge. Guy. Shouldn't leave my king with no one. He's not left with no one. Alright, let's see how all this works out in the end. Oh cool, a peasant revolt. Where? at home already fighting someone so we can send our troops take care of it these shall go be reinforcements as well all right let's see how our war for italy and the holy roman empire works out